Hey everybody, Ted Gustin here. Doing a little waxing. We're getting ready to start dipping these traps. I'm going to show you a close-up of this wax. It's ready. You got a little bit of smoking. There's a little extra wax on the bottom that's actually smoking. The wax is just beginning to smoke. You don't want it to get too hot. If it does, it can catch fire. You should keep a, a piece of plywood nearby to cover it with if it catches fire, and that'll put it out instantly. And then you can cut the heat down. Okay. All the wax is melted. We're boiling. I normally wear a glove when I do this because I use the super stakes. You have to dump the wax out of the super stakes. I'm going to go ahead and dump these in. Totally submerge them. Now I'm going to let the wax tell me when it's hot enough and when it's not hot enough. You go by the amount of movement on the surface. Once again, if it starts smoking, turn your heat down. That's the best way I can explain to control the wax temperature while you're waxing your traps because it is a dangerous process. Um, now, Right now you can notice we're starting to boil just a little bit. That's a normal thing. You want to see a low, almost foamy boil. Um, you're going to leave the traps in for about a minute to a minute and a half. You want the temperature of the metal to come up close to the temperature of the wax. As it begins to boil more rapidly, like it is, um, that tells me that the traps are heating up, that the wax temperature is just about right where I like it. I'm sure my wax is probably a little scorched from years of use, but I've not had any problems with digging with it, so I keep using it. At this time, these traps are at close to the same temperature as the wax. I'm going to dump out my super stakes. You want to wear a pair of gloves that will not allow you to burn your fingers. I like these. They're made by North. They're vinyl coated. They're the same traps I use when I'm coyote trapping. These are pretty old. They got cracks in them. These gloves are six dollars a pair. Uh, leather tends to hold odors. You can use leather gloves though. Very usable. Okay, I'm going to get the last few drips to come off. And I'm going to come over here. Hang these up. Take me another set of traps. Put them in. Fully submerge them. And that's basically how you wax traps. And I'm going to continue this process through my groups of three until I've got all of these done. Um, keep an eye on your wax temperature. If your heat is too high, the wax will tell you. If it starts smoking, turn it down. It's the vapor in the smoke. It's actually vaporized wax and it will catch fire. So I think I've touched on that issue enough. Um, as these traps sit here and cool, uh, you'll see the wax solidify. The chains will be waxed in place. You're going to leave these traps hang for at least, I like a week. You know, three days you can pull them and, and go use them. But you got to let Mother Nature, the, the wind, the, the rain, everything help remove the odors from the waxing process. So once that's accomplished uh, and your traps are odor free, you're ready to set. Um, that's about it. Y'all have a good day.